Well, it seems the Easter season is upon us, and you know what that means? It's time for an excellent and horrifying egg experiment. No, 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 don't click away. That's the last egg pun, I promise. So a few weeks back, a friend wrote me a letter, and he knew that I was interested in things like zero-budget or low-budget special effects, particularly horror effects. And he had read that if you put an egg in the microwave, it will explode. And he wrote me to find out whether that would make a good alien pod sort of effect if you film it exploding in the microwave. The idea is that maybe you could make the interior of your microwave look like a spaceship or something, put your egg, decorated to look like an alien pod, in the microwave, film through the door as it explodes, and it would look like an alien bursting out of an egg sac or a pod. Well, as it happens, I actually already knew something about this effect, and the answer, unfortunately, is not really. Let me explain what's happening. The interior of an egg consists of a yolk and an egg white, and then a membrane, and then the hard shell. That interior, the yolk and the white, are about 75% water. When you expose water to electromagnetic microwave radiation, the microwaves excite the water molecules and they eventually evaporate, becoming a gas. The gas takes up more space than the liquid form of water and that builds pressure on the inside of the egg. Now, the egg shell, primarily calcium carbonate, is semi-permeable, so the egg will appear to sweat a little bit as tiny amounts of water seep through. However, the amount of space cleared by the little bits of water that can escape the shell is less than the amount of pressure building inside the shell, and eventually it's going to explode. Now that makes it an exciting effect for a science experiment, and a hell of a mess in your microwave, but the problem with using that in terms of a low-budget or no-budget special effect is that the explosion is just too violent. It doesn't look like anything except an egg sitting there, and then suddenly an egg not sitting there, and a bunch of goo dripping from the sides of your microwave. That's not the kind of effect that we're going for if we're thinking alien pods. So even though I knew that wouldn't work, I had another idea. What if we took our egg, and instead of just putting our egg in the microwave, we first pierce a hole through the shell? My idea was that a small hole would allow the gases to escape, but if the hole was small enough, perhaps the gases would still push some of the egg material through the hole, and it would look like an oozing alien substance emerging from the pod. I then had the idea that as long as we're poking a hole in the egg anyway, why not inject something inside the egg to make it look more alien? For my experiment, I chose just to use stage blood, but you could use something green if you want it to look alien, you could use something red if you want it to look bloody, whatever you want. The idea is you just take a needle, poke it through the hole, inject the stage blood or whatever else, and then all that material will ooze out of the egg. So that's my idea, but I have no idea whether it's going to work or not. So let's take our egg up to the laboratory, which is to say my kitchen, put it in the microwave and see whether my idea will actually turn this into an alien pod sort of an effect. Okay, here I have my egg, a little cup of stage blood, and a needle and syringe. So we'll just open up the needle. like so, and we'll extract some of the stage blood, just like so. And we'll take our egg and get a place ready for it. And now because the needle won't penetrate it, we just pierce the top of the egg with the tine of a fork, ever so slightly, being careful not to crack more than just that tiniest little hole. Then we take our needle into that hole and inject our stage blood and then into the microwave the whole thing goes. And I've put a paper towel around the egg just to make sure that it doesn't roll over too much while it's microwaving. So now we can see how it works. <laughs> Well, 
it sputtered a bit and then exploded. Let's see what actually happened. Yeah. That is a nasty mess for me to clean up. Well, I'm back and I have to say that was rather disappointing. The explosion was fun until I had to clean it up. My God, the egg got everywhere. But unfortunately, it just still didn't really look like an alien pod. It sputtered a bit, which you might think of as sort of alien, but it just, nothing really oozed out. And then the hole was small enough that the egg still exploded too violently to give us that alien pod sort of effect. So the experiment was a bit of a failure, but hey, that's how science works. You never know until you try something out. But I hate to leave you with a failed experiment. I'd like to give you something you can use and go and make your own homemade special effects. So even though our alien pod experiment was a failure, I have another idea of something that I actually know works. So let's head back up to the kitchen and I'll show you how you can make another egg-related horror trick. Well, since the alien pods trick turned out not to work, here's another horrifying trick you can do with an egg. First, use the same injection technique where you poke a hole in the top of an egg and inject either some stage blood or even just some red food coloring using a needle. You'll be left with a little hole on top, but in this case, you take a small globule of wax and seal the hole shut. Now that that's sealed shut, you have an egg that won't leak even though there's a hole in it. Then, all you need to do is crack the egg and you'll see a horrifying bloody egg effect. Perfect for either a magic show or just a horrifying trick if you want a demonic, devilish, ghastly sort of bloody egg. Well, that's all I got. I hope at least the exploding egg was amusing, and I hope you like the little bloody egg trick that I gave you. At this point, though, I have to say, where I'm at right now, I'd be perfectly happy if I never saw another egg again in my life. I suspect that won't last until next time I want to do some baking. But in any case, our experiments having concluded, all that remains is for me to say Happy Easter, and as always, take care and stay scared.